very good afternoon to all the students of class 10 today i'm going to take on the lesson <clears throat> a letter to god and the mcqs for the same okay multiple choice questions question one why did lend you write a letter to god a to ask for money b to ask for good harvest c to please d to complain about post office employees so the correct choice is to ask for money. Next question. What were Lencho's feelings when the rain began to fall? When it just began to fall. A. Hopeful and happy. B. Disheartened. C. Excitement to feel the rain on his body. D. Disheartened. So when it just began to fall, the right answer would be hopeful and and happy because he was expecting a good harvest he was very hopeful with the rain and he was happy next question what character trait does lencho display when he saw the hailstorm a optimism b anxiety c despair d elation so when the when it started raining he was very optimistic and he was happy but when he saw the hailstorm he was not at all optimistic. He was anxious, yes. But when he saw the destruction, then it was despair for him. Despair, loss of hope, despair. Elation means to be very happy, elated. Okay, so the answer is despair. Next question. Why did Lencho want God to send the money through post office? Why didn't Lencho, sorry, why didn't Lencho want God to send the money through post office? A, he didn't want all the money to arrive at the post office. B, he didn't trust the post office employees. C, he didn't want to go to the post office. D, he wanted God to send the money directly at his home. So the answer is B, he didn't trust the office employees. Next question. Who did Lencho call the bunch of crooks? A. His family members. B. Post office employees. C. His neighbors. D. Other farmers. So the correct answer is post office employees. Next question. What proves that Lencho was a hard working man? A. He worked in the fields like an ox. B. He worked in his neighbor's fields. C. He worked in rain. D. He was physically strong. So the correct option is he worked in the fields like an ox. He was a diligent farmer, a hardworking farmer. Next question. But still, he knew how to write. Proves that Lencho was a diligent farmer. Lencho was literate. C. Lencho was gullible. D. Lencho was uneducated. So the correct option is B. Lencho was literate. He knew how to read and write. Next question. When Lencho lost all his hopes, he decided to write a letter to A. God B. Postman C. Other Farmers D. Neighbours So the correct choice is A. God Next, we come on to the extract based. I read out the extract. The house, the only one in the entire valley, sat on the crest of a low hill. Crest is the top, the peak. From this height, one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers that always promised a good harvest. The only thing the earth needed was a downpour or rain or at least a shower. Throughout the morning, Lencho, who knew his fields intimately, very closely, had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast. Now we are really going to get some water, woman. So maybe he's addressing his wife and he's telling her that now we're going to get a shower of rain. He was very optimistic and hopefully he was looking at towards the sky. What was Lencho's emotion while looking at the sky? A. Desperation. B. Forlorn. C. Optimism. D. Melancholy. Now, it was not desperation at all. He was not forlorn, sad, dejected, no. 
Optimism, yes. He was optimistic about it. So the correct option is C, optimism. Melancholy is again sadness. Next, choose the option that lists the set of statements that are not true according to the given extract. Now they've given about uh, seven statements and we have to choose the ones that are not true. Children, please read the question very carefully. If they're not asking for true, they're asking for not true. First statement, Lencher knew his fields intimately. Two, Lencher was an indolent farmer. Three, Lencher grew corns in the fields. Fourth, Lencher was optimistic for the rainfall. Lencho lived alone. Six, Lencho grew oranges in his field. Seven, Lencho was a devoted farmer. Now, out of these seven statements, we have to choose the ones that are not true. First one, Lencho knew his fields intimately. I just give you the meaning. He knew his fields closely. So that's true. Lencho was an indolent farmer. No, he was not an indolent farmer. He was very hardworking. Lencho grew corns in the field. Yes. Lencho was optimistic for the rainfall. Yes, true. Lencho lived alone. No, this is not true because he lived with his family. He addressed his wife. And then in the story, we come to know that the children also came out to play in the rain when they saw, uh, you know, the hailstones looking like uh, new silver coins. Okay. So he did not live alone. Lencho grew oranges in his field. No, he grew corn. Lencho was a devoted farmer. Yes, that is true. So the statements that are incorrect are, which are not true. Number two, he was an indolent farmer. Number five, he lived alone. And number six, Lencho grew oranges in the field. So two, five and six are incorrect. So this is another way of testing your comprehension. Next question. Lencho, who knew his fields intimately. The phrase uses the term intimately. Which of the following word is correct in respect to the term? Now, uh, they have given options A, B, C, D, but they have given it diagrammatically kind of a thing, you know. So they have written intimately in a box. Then they have arrows, one going upwards, that's A, one goes uh, going sideways, that's B, one going downwards, that's C, and one going towards the left is D. And there are different, four different words given. So A is apparently, B is distantly, C is slightly, and D is closely. So the meaning of intimately is closely. Next question. Which word does crest not correspond to? Doesn't correspond or doesn't match. A, peak. B, top. C, nadir. D, ridge. So the correct option, a peak, top, ridge, they're all same. So the one, the odd one out is C, nadir. This means the bottom, the base, okay? N-A-D-I-R. So that means the base. Next question. Where was Lencho's house situated? At the bottom of the hill? B. At the top of the hill? C. Along the river? D. In the city? So we know it was on top of the hill. It was on the crest of a low hill. Top of a hill or crest of the hill. So the correct answer is B. At the top of the hill. Now, next question. Read the extract and answer the questions. I'll read it out. Not a leaf remained on the trees. The corn was totally destroyed. The flowers were gone from the plants. Lencho's soul was filled with sadness. When the storm had passed, he stood in the middle of the field and said to his sons, A plague of locusts would have left more than this. The hail has left nothing. This year we will have no corn. That night was a sorrowful one. All our work for nothing. There's no one who can help us. We'll all go hungry this year. 
Now this part tells us that Lencho is totally dejected. Okay, he's in despair, loss of hope, doesn't know what to do. So he, uh, you know, he's speaking his mind out that what will happen, uh, how will I feed my family kind of thing and all our hard work uh, went down the drain or was in vain. Okay, and because there's nothing left. Then another thing he talks about over here is a plague of locusts, a swarm of locusts. Now these are pests, locusts are pests and when they come, they come in swarms, you know and at a stretch they destroy and uh, the fields and the crops at a very, very fast rate. So here he says even if the locusts had come, they would not have done so much of destruction as has been done by this hailstorm. Now the questions. A. The corn was totally destroyed. Choose the option that suggests what destroyed the crops. A. Mild wind. 2. Hailstorm. 3. Heavy wind. 4. Snowfall. 5. Locust. 6. Birds. So 6 options have been given. Then you have to choose from the options that they have given for you the combinations that they have made. Now, looking at this, we know it was not my, uh, mild wind. It was hailstorm, of course. And with hailstorm, there was heavy wind. That's how the crops get, uh, you know, blown over and uh, destruction takes place. So, two options are there. Option two and three. A combination of that. So, they've given A, one and two. B, three and four. C, two and three. D, five and six. So, option C with two and three is correct. Next question. Lencho's soul was filled with sadness. Why was his soul filled with sadness? A. He had lost all his crops to the hailstorm. B. He had lost half of his crops to the hailstorm. C. The rain stopped quickly, leaving no room for a good harvest. D. He had a feud with his sons in the field. Feud is a kind of a fight. Okay. So, the correct option we know is he had lost all his crops to the hailstorm. So, option A. Next, choose the emotion displayed by Lencho when he said, there's no one who can help us. A. Anger. B. Frustration. C. Exhaustion. D. Despair. So, the answer is D. Despair. Loss of hope. Next question. They had to go hungry this year because A. They had nothing to survive on as their crop was destroyed. They had decided to go on a hunger strike. B. C. It was a part of their prayer to God. D. They decided to eat less due to no harvest. So the correct option is they had nothing to survive on as their crop was destroyed. So that is option A. Now children... Another way that they can ask you a question is, uh, with, a, with an illustration as I said, choose the option that would have caused less destruction than the hailstorm according to Lencho. A is heavy rainfall, B is snowfall, C is flock of birds and D is plague of locusts. Okay, they've given pictures like that. So, you know that it is plague of locusts. Next question. The following Sunday, Len Lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him. It was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster, experiencing the contentment of a man who has performed a good deed, looked on from the office. Lencho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money. Such was his confidence. But he became angry when he counted the money. God could not have made a mistake, nor could he have denied Lencho what he had requested. Immediately, Lencho went up to the window to ask for paper and ink. On the public writing table, he started to write with much wrinkling of his brow caused by the effort he had to make to express his ideas. Now, question A. How did Lencho feel when he counted the money? A. He was astonished. B. He was pleased. C. He was enraged. D. He was not bothered. So he was not astonished. It's categorically written in the chapter. No surprise. He was pleased. No. He was enraged is correct. 
So instead of writing angry, they have used the option enraged. So enra rage is also anger. So he was angry. He was enraged. So option C. Then again, Choose the option that lists the set of statements that are not true according to the given extract. A. Lencher was very laid back in his duties. 2. Lencher was a simpleton. 3. Lencher was extremely ecstatic to see the amount. 4. Lencher was not a diligent farmer. 5. Lencher was angry on the amount being sent by God. 6. Lencho had requested God to send him some amount. 7. Lencho wrote a letter to God. So instead of 4 or uh, 6 statements, we have 7 statements now. So that shows that we have to have 3 options correct, okay? The, according to what they have given. The combinations that have been made for you all to choose from. Now looking at the sentences... Lencho was very laid back in his duties. Laid back is to be very casual and be lazy. But we know that is not true. So number one, Lencho was a simpleton. Yes, he was a simple guy. Three, Lencho was extremely ecstatic to see the amount. Ecstatic is elated, happy. No, he was not in ecstasy. He was angry and disappointed. So number three is also not correct. Four, Lencho was not a diligent farmer. He was a diligent farmer. Diligent is hard working. Okay. So we've got three, right? And the options are one, three and four. Okay. Now, next question. <clears throat> they have given, you know, a, you know, a matchstick drawings kind of a thing. Okay. Matchstick drawing kind of a thing. And they have, you know, in those bubbles, they have written, uh, what has been said by each one, okay? So, first one is, Lencho truly believed that God would help him. Second one says, Lencho was not a wise farmer. Third one says, Lencho wrote a letter to God requesting him to send 100 pesos. Fourth, the postmaster was a mature and kind-hearted person as we could understand as he could understand the problems of Lencho, okay? Now, the question says, pick the option that correctly classifies fact oblique facts and opinion oblique s opinions of the statements given below. So, four uh, statements have been given. Now, you have to uh, identify which one is a fact and which one is an opinion, okay? Now, looking at it, if we see the first one, Lencho, I truly believe that God would help him. Sorry, Lencho truly believed that God would help him. That is a fact. Second one, Lencho was not a wise farmer. This is not a fact, so it is an opinion, which is, could be anybody's opinion. Third one, Lencho wrote a letter to God requesting him to send 100 pesos. This is a fact. The next one, postmaster was a mature and kind-hearted person as we could he could understand the problems of Lencho. So that is also a fact. So out of this, if the, from the options given, they have given the options. Like the first one says there is a, a number one and two are facts. One, two and three are facts. And... Four, fourth one is an opinion. So looking at this, then you can judge. So whatever facts have been given in the chapter, that you will put as F, F1, comma 3 or 5 accordingly. Okay. So here we know that Lencho was not, uh, sorry, uh, truly believe that God would, so that's a fact. Then all three are facts except for number two, that Lencho was not a wise farmer. So the option would be fact. F stands for fact. F, 1, 3 and 4 and the second one is an opinion. So O for opinion 2. So this is another way of testing your comprehension. Okay, next one. Which word does denied not correspond to? A, contradict. B, gainsay. C. Accept. D. Decline. 
So deny does not correspond with the word accept. Okay. Next one. But he became angry when he counted the money. How much money did Lencho receive? He had asked for 100 pesos. Okay. Um, how much money had he received? A, 70 pesos. B, 100 pesos. C, 30 pesos. D, 50 pesos. So the answer is A, 70 pesos. Okay. Now, another extract is there. But suddenly a strong wind began to blow and along with the rain, very large hailstones began to fall. These truly did resemble new silver coins. The boys exposing themselves to the rain ran out to collect the frozen pearls. It's really getting bad now, exclaimed the man. I hope it passes quickly. It does not pass quickly for an hour the hail rained on the house, the garden, the hillside, the cornfield, on the whole valley. The field was white as if covered with salt. Question A. It's really getting bad now, exclaimed the man. What was Lencho's emotion in this line that it's getting bad? A. Tensed. B. Disappointed. C. Sad. D. Angry. So looking at that, he was becoming tensed. That is the correct option. Next question. These truly did resemble new silver coins. What resemble the new silver coins? A. Raindrops. B. Snowflakes. C. Hailstones. D. Pebbles. So the correct answer is hailstones. Pick the option that is incorrect with respect to the word expose. So again, you know, they uh, put the word expose in a box and then you have the arrows in all directions. A is display, B is masked, C is show, D is uncover. So display, uncover, show means the same thing as expose. So the only word that is option B says masked. Masked means covered. So that is the correct option. Next question. Who are the boys in the extract? A. Lencho's sons. B. Lencho's friends. C. Farmers. D. Shepherds. So the correct answer is the boys in the extract are Lencho's sons. Okay. Next question. A bunch of crooks. Pick the option that does not collate. Collate means match, correspond with bunch of correctly. So they have given again in a square box, they've put in, uh, in a box, they've put in bunch of. Then there are arrows on all sides, you know. Uh, for example, like this, okay. You have bunch of here, then you have an arrow upwards. That's A keys, B grapes, C farmers, D islands. So you have to choose the right collective noun which corresponds with a bunch of crooks. So all keys, grapes and flowers correspond very well. The odd one out is islands. So that does not collate. Okay, so islands is the correct option. Now, next question. Choose the option that lists Encho's emotions from the tone of the second letter that he wrote to God. First, Elated, second grateful, third disappointed, fourth angry, fifth surprised. Okay, so we have to choose two, you know, because they have given, they have made pairs. Okay, so two we have to choose from here. So he was not elated when he received the second letter, not at all. Was he grateful? Not at all. Was he disappointed? Yes. Was he angry? Very much. Yes. Surprised? Not at all. So two emotions are there. 2 and 3. 2 is grateful and 3 is disappointed. So accordingly, you will choose uh, um, the option that matches with your thinking. Okay. So you will choose that. Then there is another question given children, which is, uh, you know, quite interesting. They have given, you know, four uh, uh, pictorial illustrations. Okay. And uh, in this, they have given... Pick the option that lists the uh, pick the option that lists the option corresponding to with a blow of his fist, with a blow of his fist. Now, 
what is blow of the fist signifies smashing something okay uh, uh, smashing the fist against the surface like he licked the stamp and then he put it on the envelope and then he hit hard with his fist okay now if you look at a in a picture they have given thumbs up okay now second picture they have given a clenched fist in third picture they have given you know uh, the uh, the kind of a smash kind of a thing okay and the fourth one is two fists like this now this is for you to analyze okay now the first one represents a thumbs up okay then uh, the second one a clenched fist like this it represents unity or it could even rep represent rebellion you know when everybody is together so you need unity then the third one represents a fist bump okay now the option d with two fists like this it is a symbol of being in agreement with someone so option c is the correct representation of the given phrase with a blow of his fist so it's option c so quite an interesting way of testing your comprehension next question choose the word that does not correspond to the term affix a attach b stick c detach d fasten attach stick and fasten all means fixing so the only word that it does not match is detach option c so i have tried to fill in as many mcqs uh, as possible uh, I would just like to remind you children that the summary and the question answers of this chapter, uh, are, I have done it previously, you know, uh, a long time ago, but they are very much there on YouTube. So in order to, you know, be doubly sure of everything, you can go through those videos. Okay. Uh, I have made uh, videos for both chapter one, chapter two, and a few poems also I've made videos. So uh, on the same link as this one so you can uh, you know go back to those chapters and the summaries and help yourselves okay so thank you very much for listening watching god bless you all all the best